It's Wednesday the 13th of November. Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us as we take a look at this low pressure zone that's on its way in. It's followed by a colder or cooler change this weekend and then we're back to the warmer westerlies next week. Let's break it down for you. Here is the low pressure zone deepening out here in the central Tasman Sea. Meanwhile, high pressure drifting off the country now. It is centered over the top of the Chatham Islands, so they've got settled weather. But between these two systems, there is that northeasterly airflow. It's not too cold at the top of the country because this airflow is coming from north of New Zealand or very close by. Whereas in the South Island and the eastern side of the North Island, south of about East Cape, all the way along the eastern side there, you're seeing that nor'easter come out of this high locally. So it's a little colder or cooler along that eastern side. Temperatures down 10, 11 degrees on where they were a few days ago. Uh, that's the difference between a nor'easter and a nor'wester. Very little difference when you look at it on a map, but cooler airflow off the sea versus warmed up over the land. So that is the setup at the moment. Low pressure moves in tomorrow Thursday and tomorrow night, moves in and over the country, and then it falls apart as it interacts with our mountains and, and land. So about a thousand hectopascals at the center of that low. Rain develops in the morning over on the west coast with a few heavy falls in the mix. Also, we'll be seeing some rain setting into the northwestern corner of the South Island, spreading over to Nelson, Marlborough as well. The North Island, showery, uh, maybe some drizzle or some light rain around, but generally speaking, it's a bit more broken up on Thursday. It changes on Friday though. The low falls apart, as I just said, but there's actually low pressure centered all the way up here in the far north and all the way down to about South Canterbury. That means there's instability around. So that line of heavy rain from Northland to Taranaki, and that might move a little further north or south a bit, that could contain thunderstorms and heavy downpours as it moves through, transitioning from those warmer nor'westers to the cooler or colder south to southwesterly that is coming on through. And that colder change arrives in the South Island across Friday. It's more noticeable on Saturday. Your temperatures take a dive on Saturday. Many places struggle to reach over the, uh, well, struggle to reach into the teens, put it that way, 12 degree temperatures. Now, if the sun comes out and you're sheltered at the right time, it could go up to 14, but you are seeing much lower temperatures struggling to reach the teens around the South Island on Saturday as that colder change comes through, plenty of showers, might be a light dusting of snow on the mountains, and then that cooler change moves into the North Island, although it leans to the east. So yes, a few showers come in for the top of New Zealand. It's not very much though for the top half of the North Island. And we'll have another look at this again now to make more sense of it. So we'll animate from one o'clock Thursday morning through to one o'clock Saturday. It's quite a fast animation, but you get the idea of the rain moving through. So the time is here. So Thursday, in comes the rain. As we go through into Friday, now it's the North Island's turn. And by the time we reach Saturday, it is clearing away that front. Up comes the southerly with all the showers. And like I say, it leans to the east more than it does to the west. There will still be a few showers along the western North Island, but just not as many. So by Sunday, away it goes. In comes the next big high. But when you've had a southerly followed by high pressure, it locks in the cooler air. And so at nighttime, we do expect those temperatures to really drop around the South Island. If you look at the frost trends, you can see trends at ruralweather.co.nz or please download our free weather watch app. It comes with all these graphs. And you can see uh, if you click on the frost trends, there is a possible frost here for places like, well, we've chosen Gore here in Southland. Two degrees your overnight low following a maximum of 11 on Saturday. But look at the spring temperatures bouncing back up to 18 on Sunday and into the 20s by Monday. Why are we seeing that change? Because there is high pressure returning uh, and that's going to drive in a bit of a westerly flow because it doesn't come in over the top of us perfectly. Here are the temperatures. I want to show you again what is happening. So you kick off here on Friday morning. Warm weather still around much of the North Island, but that cooler southerly comes on through here. Going to animate it now. Keep an eye on the blue shading. That's all that really matters. Shows you that cooler airflow heading northwards here across Saturday. Temperatures drop as we go into the nighttime and then across Sunday as well. So Sunday night, Monday morning also looking kind of cold. But as we go into Monday afternoon, back come those warmer conditions because there's high pressure out here over Australia. It's not over us, but that high pressure zone over Australia and the storms to the south here fuel those nor'westers and that lifts our temperatures back up again. So you get the idea that the weekend is a bit colder, but we warm up again by the start of next week. So here we are on Monday at 1 p.m. 
See what I mean? Here are the nor'westers. High pressure still over the Chatham, so that's over the edges of us, but it's this one here over Australia moving through with the windy westerlies between that and the lows down here near Antarctica. That drives a, another pulse of windy westerlies into the country, and by Tuesday, these aren't major winds by the way, so don't panic, it's just more about those spring winds return again. So they'll be windy around Wellington and wider Upper, drier weather again for those of you in the east of the North Island. I know that you want more rain. There is rain here, it's on the wrong side, it's over on the west coast where you don't want more rain. Southland, I know you're a bit sick of the rain as well, it won't be very much coming through for you on Tuesday, that is the good news. These storms, while they're powerful, they are way down over towards Antarctica. So that's a long distance. You know, the length of New Zealand is 1,600 kilometers. So you're talking, you know, nearly twice the length of New Zealand away from us. So quite a way away are those big storms, but they are helping to fuel these westerlies. But by Tuesday, the top of New Zealand will be sheltered under just a little narrow ridge of high pressure. And that's stopping this tropical disturbance around Fiji, Tonga area from really coming in and affecting us, at least at this stage anyway. That is all from me for today. We are away on Friday, uh, just a couple of meetings we're dealing with at the moment, and we can't tell you much, but we're working on some cool things for next year. Nothing like a teaser at the end of my video, but uh, we're not here on Friday due to that. We are working on some cool ideas to upgrade our app next year. We've got some things around that. We're working with the Met Service, although now that Niwa and Met Service are merging, that does complicate it, so that's why we're having these ongoing meetings with the Met Service at the moment to see how things are shaping up for us next year. That aside, we're working on some other ideas as well as trying to launch into Australia and to improve some of our services back home here in New Zealand. So any ideas you've got, please do let us know about them. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and thank you for all the comments we're getting on YouTube as well. But we'll see you tomorrow, Thursday, with our next New Zealand update and our next Australia-only forecast. Have a great Wednesday.